In today's video, we're looking at the super smooth, quick, new optical switches by ASUS. These are the linear switches and this is on the ASUS Trix Scope RX full-size optical keyboard. Let's get into that review. This is Betty from Switch and Click, where we try our hardest to provide super thorough and detailed reviews so that you can make purchasing decisions without any regrets. This is the ASUS Strix Scope RX optical keyboard, perfect for gaming, and it's got a ton of features here that I haven't really seen in any other Kango keyboard brand. All right, if you look at the box, it is a very ginormous box. And to be honest, there really isn't much in here at all. You you do get your keyboard and it does have a non-detachable cable and that's because it has USB pass-through. The keyboard does come in this kind of felt sleeve material and other than that you also get a manual and a warranty card and that's about it. That's all you get in the box. This keyboard is pretty big. It is full size and as you know I'm not a huge fan of full size mechanical keyboards but nowadays now that I have a much larger desk I'm actually more okay with having a large keyboard now more than ever but this keyboard has an aluminum top plate it's quite thick quite secure to the board itself at the back here you'll see that there are two adjustable kickstands and they're one angle each so you can decide to raise your keyboard if you want to but if not that's okay because it already has a pretty good angle to it already you do have four rubber feet so that if you're gaming intensely it's not going to slide around especially if you angle your keyboard and you play pretty intensely there's a nice low go on the back of ASUS as well. And then you do get this pretty thick power cable that comes right out of the back and then ends in two USB ends. One is to power the keyboard and the other is for USB pass-through and it is USB 2.0 pass-through and that port is on the top right of the keyboard here. You can charge your phone, electronics, whatever you choose pretty easy and convenient to access right there. From the side, you can see that there is a floating keycap design and you can visibly see the color of your switches. In the front here, you can see some branding. It says Republic of Gamers. And on the top right, you've got all of your indicators. You've got num lock, caps lock, scroll lock, function lock, and windows lock, and your ASUS branding too. And that's pretty much it for branding. As far as keycaps, these are very special keycaps. So this keyboard is not going to let you change the keycaps out to whatever you choose if you already have custom keycap sets because the switches on these keycaps are very particular. The keycaps appear pretty normal from the front, but once you take them off, you'll notice that the inside of them is completely different than any other keycap you've ever seen. There are four legs on the inside here and that's how it goes into these switches, which are the new ASUS optical switches. These are double shot ABS plastic keycaps. They do accumulate some finger oils pretty quickly so make sure you wipe them off and have clean fingers before you use them. The keycaps themselves feel really nice to type on and the sound of the keyboard is especially nice if you want to jump to the typing test. Right now you can do so on the timeline below if you want to. The new optical switches actuate at 1.5 millimeters which is 0.5 millimeters shorter than your typical Cherry MX or Gateron switch. Their initial force is 40 grams and then at the bottom out which is when your switch can go down no farther that's at 55 grams so pretty lightweight overall. And and the keystroke lifespan of these switches is 100 million keystrokes. And I don't know about you, but I'm never going to reach 100 million keystrokes. So I'm not too worried about durability here at all. Initially, these switches look as if they have a box-like design similar to kale box switches. However, if you look farther into it, that's not the case. They have stabilizers within this box design itself, and that is what reduces the wobble of these switches. It feels wonderful, and I can say these are probably the most stable switches I've ever felt and that's without any modifications that's straight out of the box. That makes these switches perfect for gaming but also pretty good for typing as well. They feel really nice to just rest your fingers on top and know exactly where your fingers are at that moment. 
With a box design, it's also very smooth and it doesn't move when your fingers are moving. It also doesn't add any additional noise at all. You just hear that bottom out and that's pretty much it. If you're typing a little bit more quickly, there is going to be a bit of spring ping that you can hear here uh, coming up on this typing test right now. Our stabilizers go they are extremely extremely nice they remind me a lot of the razor optical stabilizers on that keyboard and the look of it is pretty similar as well underneath the keycap you have this plastic piece that attaches to your keycap but then also has a little hook that will go into the stabilizer within the keyboard itself and it doesn't need to be lubed it doesn't need to be modded or anything the whole situation is super clean and as you heard from that typing test the stabilizers sound pretty good but you can hear a just stabilizer alone sound test right now Alright, we have to talk about some of these special features that this keyboard has. One is the large left control, and that's perfect for FPS games if you're doing a lot of crouching, if you find yourself needing to lay on the floor really quickly, you can press that or hold it or do whatever you need to do without being scared that you'll miss it and accidentally press something else. Now, even if you press the Windows key right next to it, there is Windows lock here. You just press FN and the Windows key. Another big feature here is the stealth key. Now what the stealth key does is if you're, I don't know, looking at Reddit or something, got the internet open, and you're looking at something, you know, maybe your significant other won't approve of, you can press that key really quickly when they walk in the door and everything will be hidden. I'm not sure if that's its intended purpose, but when I first heard of the stealth key, that's definitely what I thought of. Sure, you could be just wanting some privacy from your friends, grandma, mom, whatever it is, the key will mute your computer as well as hide all the windows so that it looks like you're doing nothing but staring at the desktop, which is pretty weird, pretty suspicious looking too. Other things here, you've got your function row, but you also have media keys on your function row. If you just want to use your media keys, you don't need to press FN if you don't want to. There's a feature called function row locking where you press FN and insert to reveal your function row but if you press fn and insert again then it's just media keys when you press on keys from f5 to f12 alongside that there is rgb it has onboard memory so you don't need to have that bulky software open when you want to use your macros or have your custom rgb profiles yes you can customize it with this software and it's called aura sync you can do per key lighting or effects or just static like what i would do and then you also have armory crate where you can do your profiles as well as your macro creation and all that. The board does have on the fly macro recording if you press the macro key. With the RGB effects there's already some preset effects that we can go through right now but you can change the mode by holding FN and the right arrow keys and brightness by holding FN and up or down so it's pretty easy to mess with all of these 
aspects of the board. Another really huge feature here is that it's IP56 water and dust resistant. If you're spilling water or coke or juice on your board, it's gonna be okay. Just dry it off and go back to your regular gaming session or internet browsing, whatever it may be. In terms of the whole experience, this is probably one of my favorite full-size mechanical keyboards. And there's a lot of things that contribute to this, although there's some downsides as well. I really love the typing experience, especially these switches, which are wobble-free, feel really, really smooth. Only downside here is there's a little bit of spring ping when you're typing a little bit faster and really bouncing around your board. The large control may not be my thing, but I can see how it's super beneficial for gamers. And then because the switches are proprietary, you can't really find new keycap sets for it. If you happen to break a keycap or maybe you're just tired of the black look and you want something a little bit different, it's not really an option here. Stabilizers sound really awesome, very smooth, wobble-free, and sound just like all your other switches. The software is pretty easy to use. It's decently small, and the best thing is you don't even have to have it open to have your custom RGBs. Personally, I think a lot of thought went into this board, into the creation and the development of this board. There's a lot of features here that I really haven't seen on other boards where they thought things through about the user experience, how easy it is to do all of your software stuff, but then not need to have it open. Stealth mode is really nice, the control key, the media keys and function lock. There's just so much here that I can't find on any other board. And I think that's really cool. If you wanna check out this board, it's great for gaming, but I don't do a lot of gaming and I think it's really great for typing too. Check this keyboard out using the links down below. And if you wanna find out more information about this board in a quick, easy to glance manner, be sure to check our website at switchandclick.com. I'll also link that down below if you're interested in checking that out too. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.